Hey MHA candidates, this is Zach Zylstra. I am a current Modern Human Anatomy student. I'm a first year walking you through this virtual video tour of the, the program today. Really, obviously, an exciting time for, for you right now. We're really sorry you can't be on campus, but I'm going to do my best to tell you what we're all about. So as you get off the elevator on the fifth floor of the administrative building, you'll walk in the doors of our MHA main suite. You'll see student lockers, student desks, faculty offices, all of those accessory textbooks that you can see there in the back of the wall, as well as my favorite part of the suite down here in the bottom right corner, the anatomical chair. I have no idea where it came from. It's, it's just my favorite part. So. The Plastination Library is a collection of donations from researchers, students, and faculty. You will find whole brains, sections of the brain, various emb embryological structures, as well as, you can see there, an entire central nervous system that was dissected out and plastinated. Um, this is a, a great resource for us as students to use for the photography project in imaging and modeling, for studying structures as they would appear, as close to the, what they would appear in a live human, uh, as well as just to show off. Who doesn't like to do that? This is our work. We want it proudly displayed. So these are the lockers that I was talking about. You, you share those with another student, and that's also where we keep the cameras and photography equipment for the imaging and modeling course. This is the kitchen, so we have two microwaves, a dishwasher, fridge, freezer, and two coffee coffee machines that you saw there. And then this room is the silent study room with various desks. A lot of these desks are occupied by the MHA second years. This is where you kind of stake your claim on, on some property. But honestly, the suite in and of itself is a great place to, to get work done. It's pretty low traffic. There are computers available to you as well as copy machines. Um, this is this is a, a pretty secluded place to to get some work done during during the week if you're on campus. So, obviously, as the Modern Human Anatomy program, we pride ourselves on the integration of technology and anatomical sciences, and the three D printing lab allows us to kind of push those boundaries a little bit. This is where students work on their projects and make prototypes for their capstone research projects. This is where those capstone research projects are finished. This is where uh, relationships are made with InWorks, which if you guys come on campus, you will obviously hear more about, but they're a, an integral part of integrating new technologies into our program and, and helping students kind of get their, their the ball rolling with these technology portions of their projects. Okay, if there is a portion of our program that is more important than the 3D modeling, I would say it would be this course right here. Our gross anatomy course is an eight credit course in the spring. I'm in it right now. It's, it's lecture paired with dissection. And this is our dissection lab. Obviously we can't be showing the bodies because this is a video, but we take, we take the, the donor's privacy very seriously. But each of these stations is equipped with a computer as well as a whiteboard so that you can have the structure list written out as well as have the virtual human dissector guide pulled up on the computer before you start the dissection. All of that is purely to, to give us as students a, a convenient way to, to make sure we're not making simple mistakes as well as give us as immersive an, an experience as we can. You know, it's all right there at our fingertips. All we have to do is check the steps, make the next cut, do the next step. Uh, it's my, my group did one person would study and quiz us while the other two were dissecting. There's just a, a lot of maneuverability when, within this lab and it, it works out great. Um, it's, it's been one of the greatest opportunities that I have had here. The bone room is a, co uh, a combination of, of two glass cabinets uh, full of bones that are landmarked and highlighted with numbers so that you can go through this room on your own and study bony landmarks, insertions of muscles. Uh, basically, all of the osteology is 
our responsibility and and it takes a lot of time to learn it and we spend a lot of time in here learning the osteology so that when we go to class we're prepared for the actual lecture portion of the muscles and the insertions and the actions and and obviously the dissections as well